I find these large turbines to be majestic. Their arms spinning as the clouds drift by, sort of relaxing and peaceful. To many, the wind turbine has become the iconic symbol of green energy. Now to get energy from a turbine you gotta have some wires and those wires have to be in some sort of a moving uh, magnetic field. The result of that is generating some voltage and power that you use to operate some sort of a load. Now the uh, magnetic field comes from neodymium magnets. These are, you can't see the magnetic field except for the iron filings that show the field going from North Pole to South Pole. Now the coil has to pass through that field be able to generate a voltage. Here are some of the early coils that I had tried. The final design ended up being pieces I'd cut from old CDs and glued onto chunks of uh, half inch PVC pipe. Here's some of the finished coils and test data for those coils. There's a close up showing uh, 120 or so turns of wire on that half inch pipe. Here's a set of 16 coils wired together in series to produce the output. Now each coil is out of phase with its neighbor because of the North Pole, South Pole thing going on. And there is test data for each of the coils and also measuring the torque required to turn the turbine. And then here's some details of actually running at about two revolutions per second or 16 hertz. I can get about three volts out of that thing. There's the electrical model, 14 ohms in series with a variable voltage source, depends on the frequency. And here is the mad scientist, ready to check out his machine. As you can see, it lights up a CFL bulb. And uh, of course, uh, there I am, a pretty happy camper right about then. Next step is to actually come up with the pumpkin part of the turbine do that by uh, marking a nice level base for your bl blades. Cut the pumpkin and start hollowing out all those seeds. And when you're done with that, you cut it in two and voila! You got the blades for a savannah style uh, wind turbine. Now this wind turbine is being spun just with a little box fan three or four feet away. Now the wind speed from the box fan is uh, kind of varies. It's uh, not a really wonderful source of air, but it does move the air. I was reading about five miles an hour for the hottest, strongest wind, and just a few inches away, it might only be two and a half miles an hour. So it's a rather variable wind source. But uh, here you can see it. There's a uh, pumpkin wind turbine spinning with the help of a uh, vacuum cleaner hose blowing on the wind turbine. You can see down at the bottom, there are a few red LEDs that uh, you could wire up into some sort of a jack o lantern Don't you just see that thing with blinking eyes or mouth or nose or however you want to wire it up? Powered by a pumpkin turbine. You can see that thing wobbling even at that low RPM. So those, those pumpkin shells are so heavy and soft, it's hard to really make a good turbine on it. As they start spinning faster, they have a tendency to fly apart. But this one is generating power. As I say, about 3 volts, which is enough to run a few LEDs. Uh, that cranks up pretty good, just so you can see it before it flies apart. So, yes, you can make a wind turbine from a pumpkin shell. It's been done and tested. So, appreciate you taking a moment to look at my little project. Hope you enjoyed it.